a very busy man with diverse capabilities. I won't get into the businesses you've had, but really from a very early place, children were your passion. Yes, it was. I, I just loved kids from the beginning in that and uh, did a lot of ministry with the band in that before. And But uh, love kids. Kids just kind of are magnetic and they come to me in that. And so there's just a, people have said they, there's just a, something there, Charles, that you, you just seem to be, I can, you can throw me in front of a thousand kids without anything. And I <laughs> and just, you'll make it I'll happen. just make it happen, you know. Yeah. You and your wife, Louise, married 36 years, yeah, yeah. have two <clears throat> grown children. Mm hmm um, Aaron, 25, mm -hmm. Stacy, 23, mm -hmm. empty nest except when that one grandson visits. That's right, yeah, <laughs> and he's there a lot. <laughs> well, we, you're going to give us a little retro here. Um, mm -hmm. It's quite nostalgic to see where your early ministry career began. Mm -hmm. um, you had a band. Yeah, 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 I had a band and it uh, started probably shortly after I got married, 1940, uh, 1974, and uh, the band uh, just formed. We went and uh, ch shared uh, ministry with people in parks and uh, seniors' homes and uh, prisons, prisons <laughs> uh, and uh, high schools and anywhere the Lord would take us. That was the Jesus Movement days in that. <laughs> yeah. Well, the Gospel Messengers, there, there's the, the first effort. Oh, yeah, my goodness. That was kind of a quartet. Which one are you? I'm on the right. Oh, my goodness. And how old are you here? Oh, Do you mind me asking? Uh, probably around 23, 24. You look younger yeah. than yeah. that. There's yeah. the van you traveled in. Okay, yeah. the guy on the left yeah, that's me. is you. And yeah. I think your wife is... That's my wife right beside right me Right beside yeah. you. Yeah. Not yeah. married yet. Yes, you married we here? were married there, yeah. Oh, you yeah. just a couple of kids. Yeah, yeah. And okay, is this Jesus that, movement that or was what? That uh, was in Brantford, uh, Jesus Festival that came to Brantford and that. And we performed there. And uh, uh, we had some different... Barry Maguire was there and some other uh, famous... Uh, people at that time and that. So we had an awesome time. It's wonderful that this ever happened when I look at the start of your story. Yes. Born in Moncton, New Brunswick. Yes. Your mom was Scottish. My mother was Scottish. My father was Canadian. She was a war bride. And so that's why I was born in Moncton and at a year old, my mom got homesick and decided to go back to uh, Scotland. And of course, I didn't have any choice in the matter, so I went back. <laughs> and, uh, Kilmarnock, Kilmarnock, just south of Glasgow. Just, yeah, just a little bit from Glasgow and uh, spent my years there. Uh, and uh, my parents weren't Christians and that, and uh, I wasn't Christian and we were raised there. And then my father got a job back in Canada again, uh, and uh, we came back over here. I think I left school when I was about 16 there or something like that, and came back over here and then started life over here. Uh, you, your parents separated. Yes. You were a shy kid. Yeah. Shy. Lonely. You yes. know what it's like, yeah. how tough it can be. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you, you cried out to God. Yes. One night in my car, uh, after my, uh, my mother had gone back to uh, Scotland again, taking my two brothers, and I was, uh, my father didn't want to talk to me because they had separated and had problems and that. And I was very confused. I'd gone to church before, but never made a commitment to the Lord and that. But I was very confused. And I just sat in my car one night and I says, God, if you're real, come down and change my life. Give me a purpose for living because I have no purpose. I'm ready to end it now. And I didn't feel any chills. I didn't hear a voice from God. There was no angel speaking to me. And I said, okay, you know, I prayed. And shortly after that, some, teen, some young people talked to me and, and shared a little bit about the Word and shared about a, a speaker coming to the Civic Arena in Brantford. And I said, well, I'll go and listen to him in that. And I think, I, I think I'm going to make a commitment there. I went down there, sat in the front row, and just listened to him speak. And uh, I can't even remember what he spoke on at the time. All I know is that at the end, I went forward, shook his hand, went up, and made a commitment to Jesus Christ as my mm -hmm. personal Savior. And that was the start. And you blessed young men. Your family just came like dominoes into the kingdom. They, yes, yes. They received Christ Yes, as well. I prayed right after that for my uh, mom and two brothers to come back from Scotland. And within the year, they flew back over. And as soon as they landed, I shared Christ with them. And my two brothers accepted the Lord. My mother accepted the Lord. And then <laughs> shortly after that, a year later, my mother died at yeah. Christmas time. And uh, which really bonded our, my brothers and myself together. And that's where the gospel messengers started. And we started singing for the Lord. And that was in the Jesus movement days where my car, car was covered with bumper stickers. And I don't know if we can go back to that van. You're yeah. going to have to write a book. Oh, I for will. For sure about this chapter yeah. because yeah. you had no financial backing. No. What, no. Were there 12 of you in there, did you tell no, me? That was, uh, there was 12 people in that van. That was taken, a picture taken after the van had rolled two times on an icy road. Uh, we were going down to Buffalo, 
and everybody was worshiping the Lord, and the van rolled in its side and got the doors banged. We couldn't get out, and it was a whole story miracle in itself there that we were able, nobody got hurt at all. That's where the angel opened the door to get you out. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't get out. That's and physically, the gas, you were trapped. We were trapped. Gas was leaking into the truck. Icy nights, freezing cold. Somebody came, opened the door, and we never even seen them after that. And we all poured out onto the uh, street and started walking down to a farmhouse. And uh, we never even seen the person after that. Your ministry on the road, uh, fully unsupported. Unsupported. Uh, often, I mean, when you, with, the, with Band Isaac, went to Prince Edward Island, it yes. was an 18 hour drive from Brantford. And just, just a quick, I mean, you had no money. You had a $20 bill. You could all find it we sat, <laughs> we sat in the bus, and the pastor prayed for us when we were leaving. And, I, and we sat in the bus, and we looked at each other and says, so where are we going to get the money to get there? And my brother, I said, anybody get any money? And <laughs> my brother said, I got $25 for some bass strings. My girlfriend gave me to get some bass strings. I says, give it here. So we pulled into the gas station, put the $25 in, and headed up through Toronto and on the way up there. And I... Uh, it just miracle, miracle after miracle happened. <laughs> you replaced three engines. I mean, it goes on and on. I, I, I pull this out because we can move away from those early chapters of trusting God so fully, crazily in some ways. We just you know, launch out in faith. Yes. And there's, there's so many people who need to believe that God can meet them today. They're yes. out of work. Yes. They're, they're in a place of despair. Yes. God cares about the little things yes. and the big things, Remember and he's the, big enough. There was the story of Peter walking on the water. When he walked on the water, he walked on the water, but he, he took his eyes off of Jesus, and when he took his eyes off of Jesus, he went under. And Jesus is the Word, and it's very important when you're going through frustrations and problems and situations that you keep your eyes on the Word of God, because mm -hmm. the Word of God will set you free. He will bring you through. He will meet your needs. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. And that's been my favorite, Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, my, my favorite scripture verse. My verse. And, and God, God will help you and direct you. That's why we were able to go to Prince Edward Island back. Two and a half years traveling like that through prisons mm -hmm. and seniors' homes where uh, a nurse would come up to me and give me an envelope on the way out. And I said, oh, thank you. And there'd be $75 in there. <laughs> and that would take us on the next leg of the road. Oh, I wish we had time for more legs. Mm. Um, God called you off the road. Yes. And around the world. I mean, yeah. you're ministering to children. Let's look at just a few mm -hmm. moments with kids. Mm -hmm. Here you are mm -hmm. today. Yeah. I think this is tr That's Toronto. That's Toronto, yeah. Toronto is a Chinese church in Toronto, yeah. Yeah, ministering to the kids there and, uh, and just having a blessed time in that. And we love to, and this is in Jamaica. And, uh, that Daily was vacation Bible vacation school in Jamaica. Vacation Bible school in Jamaica. We even went into a small kind of a prison uh, that we had young people in there, and it was pretty incredible, yeah. You are going to write the book, right? I've had a lot of people tell me about that, and I, it looks like we're going to do <laughs> so something. So many chapters. Yes, so many. yes. I love the old pictures. You've yes. got a whole bunch more of those, oh, yeah. too. They're that on the website, too, yeah. They're on the website? Yes. What's your website? Uh, TommyMinistries.net. Tommy? T-O-M-I, Ministries.net. TommyMinistries.net. Yeah, yeah. And big, colorful day coming up. Mm -hmm. We can't yes. highlight all that's going to be part mm -hmm. of this, mm -hmm. but Mother's Day weekend in Brantford. Conference for uh, kids' ministry, for um, anyone working with children's ministry, pastors or leaders. Uh, this is a conference that uh, the other pastor in the church, uh, Jeff and myself, have come up with, and uh, it's going to be an awesome conference. Uh, um, uh, Carl Bastian is a speaker from the U.S., and he's a fabulous speaker all around the world in that, with children's ministry in that. And uh, we've got a lot, we've got people coming from New York to this. Yeah. So if you're in the local area, make sure you connect with this and get, get uh, registered. It's at New Covenant Church, New Covenant which Church. is uh, 22 Holiday Drive yep. in Brantford. Full mm -hmm. day of training and lunch. Yep. And it's free. Friday night. It's Friday night is free for, for families and that. And then on the conference uh, day, uh, Saturday, it's, uh, the prices are on the, on the website and that too. At kid kid, kidbuilders.ca. Kidbuilders.ca. Yeah. If you forget, mm -hmm. log on our website. Yeah. We'll connect you. Yeah. So important. We know how important it is to reach children before 12. Oh, definitely. Yeah. This is the, the sweet spot yes, for the gospel. Yes, that's the focus to get in there before, before nursery. 
children's ministry, youth. If we don't get the kids in, I see a lot of focus on the youth more so than the children, but we need to get into the children's ministry and focus in on them to build them up that they can stand in the Word of God and believe it and pray and see revival there. A lot of revival comes through the children's ministry. It does. A yeah. little child often leads them. Yes. Yeah. Charles Reed, wonderful to meet you. and Great to be here, Mara. Just God keep you strong. Thank you. In all that you're doing. God bless you.